And the last type of data I'd like to mention is time to an event when you're in a situation where an event may or may not happen. So something like death, time to the first symptom of a disease, time to a resolution of a disease, and you've got sort of fixed time period and it may or may not have happened by the end of that time period. So the mean won't be appropriate because the event may not have happened and you might have different periods of follow-up and of course the data might not be normally distributed. Occasionally um, medians can be used to summarise this sort of data. Well, sometimes they're appropriate but what you need to remember is you need at least 50% of your data for the event to have occurred, otherwise the middle value is going to be missing. And you also need the follow-up period to be the same. So just looking at some very simple hypothetical examples so you can visualise this. If you've got a fixed length of follow-up, this imaginary study had a fixed length of follow-up of 60 months and there were nine animals on which um, we measured the age at death. So in this first data set, five of the animals have died, but at the end of the study, four of them are still alive. So in this case, we can get a median value because we've got more than half the animals have died and the middle value was 58, and then because we've got four values below it, four values above it. So we've got, we can summarise that data by its median value. But if we're in the situation where not half the animals had died, so this second situation, then we've got five of them are still alive at the end of the study at 60 months. So, you know, what's the median in that case? Um, basically, you can't say it's 60 months because the next animal to die is probably going to die at older than 60 months. Uh, so it's not really available. We could get the lower quartile, but uh, we've got limited data. So we, we would have to resort to simply summarising how many had had the event. So just we could say four out of nine or 40 percent, 44 percent of the animals had died at 60 months. So you need to be careful how you summarise this data. And rather alarmingly, often people say, well, the alives are all missing, and they just summarise the ones, events that have happened. But hopefully you can see that's completely biased, because if an animal's still alive, it's clear they're going to have a value of greater than 60 here. And it's not even fair to just put in a value of 60, because you know it's going to be 60 or more, so that's something else people sometimes do, so that's inappropriate as well, so you do need to think carefully and if you've, the event hasn't occurred in more than half the animals then you're back to just taking proportions that have had the event. So that was if you'd got a fixed length of follow-up. Things are even more difficult if your length of follow-up isn't fixed. So in this study animals came in at different times and then by the end of the study the ones that were still alive you know had different lengths of follow-up. So this one animal eight had only was alive but he'd only been in the study for three months so there's very little information. So although we've got five animals that have died we can't just, we, we still can't use this data to get a median because if we took 58 that's not right because this animal eight might have died at four months for all we know. So again we're going to have to use a simple measure so you would have to set, take a time point maybe 20 months and then just say the number of animals that had died at 20 months as a proportion of those that had been followed up for 20 months. So only eight of the animals had been followed up for 20 months because this animal, this eighth animal, we don't know what would have happened to him at 20 months.